Uh, welcome back. My name is Troy Dean. I'm your host, of course. This is the WP Elevation Podcast, the show where we help you start and grow your very own digital agency. And it is the final episode of the podcast for 2019. So I thought I would just take a moment to roll through some of the milestones, uh, some of the things that we've achieved here this year in the business. First off, of course, we have some new team members. Uh, I hired an executive assistant, Eva Broughton, this year, uh, a few months ago. Eva is from California, but has been living in Australia with her husband for a few months. And uh, she's now an integral part of the team. She's also been a big part of bringing this new podcast studio to life and reimagining what we're doing here in the studio, which is excellent. Max, our uh, head of video and also the podcast producer, uh, he is uh, he's on board now as an employee four days a week, which is excellent. And Seb, his buddy, has come on a couple of days a week uh, as a videographer and video editor. So that's really helped us increase the capacity of the video content that we've been able to produce here. And if you follow us on YouTube or Facebook, of course, you will have seen a lot of that video content being shared. Uh, and of course, the podcast here, we are videoing now with new cameras and new gear and a new set, new lights and uh, a whole bunch of new stuff, including the Rode uh, Procaster, I think it's called, this beautiful machine sitting in front of me that we've just figured out how to use. Uh, and hopefully the podcast is sounding and looking great, which is the whole point. We want to give you guys a great experience while you're learning. We also want you to be entertained and have a really good listening experience. Of course, we came out to Santa Monica in February and June this year to run our Mavericks Club Mastermind events for our Mavericks Club members. We also ran the Scale Your Agency event in February and the Agency Accelerator event in uh, June in Santa Monica. And then we ran that event in Melbourne here in October. We had some great speakers come out to all of those events and we had some great conversations about mental health and entrepreneurship with Dr. Sherry Walling in June, uh, who is the lady behind Zen Tribes and Dr. Joanne Dennison, who is a psychologist here in Melbourne, uh, came to our live events and spoke about entrepreneurial mental health and uh, anxiety and imposter syndrome, fantastic conversations, and I'm very pleased and proud of being able to keep that conversation going. Uh, I also went out to London in uh, April and attended Lee Jackson's Agency Transformation Live event and was the keynote speaker out there, which was fantastic. And while I was out there, of course, we shot the High Ticket Sales Funnels course with Dave Foy. Uh, and which brings me to that point, uh, we have three new courses that we've produced this year, High Ticket Sales Funnels with Dave Foy, Content Strategy Blueprint with Dan and Molstaff, which we shot while we were out in Santa Monica in June and the Facebook Ads Accelerator, which is on sale right now uh, as I'm recording this podcast and will still be on sale when, it, when this podcast goes to air. Uh, I've recorded this podcast just a few days before it's going to air. And we shot that recently here in the new studio with Kim Barrett from Your Social Voice in uh, Western Australia. He flew over and spent a week with us here in the studio shooting that course, which is fantastic. We're very, very proud of it. And that is on sale now. So go to wpelevation.com slash courses and you can check out the courses that we now have uh, on offer. Of course, we have the WP Elevation Blueprint and we now also have High Ticket Sales Funnels, the Content Strategy Blueprint and the Facebook Ads Accelerator. So very proud of those new products. We moved into a new office, same building, but we just took over a new office here uh, at Revolver Lane in Pran in Melbourne, which is where we are. And of course, we upgraded the studio here for producing courses and the podcast. And in fact, if you're listening to this podcast, you should definitely go check out the video. Just go to wpelevation.com, click on the podcast link and uh, go and watch the last, uh, the most recent episodes of the podcast and you'll see us here in the studio. Last week, Simon Kelly was in and this week I'm just doing a podcast here by myself. Uh, but it's a fantastic looking studio and we intend to use it a lot more next year to bring new content, training materials and, and education uh, stuff for you guys to keep you inspired, excited and educated to help you grow your business. Uh, we do have some big exciting plans for 2020, which I'll talk about in a moment. But before we get there, I just want to have a little bit of a recap uh, of my favorite 10 episodes from 2019. I'm going to run through each of the episodes. Uh, I'll give you the episode number, who the guest was, and why uh, this has made the top 10. 
and I'm going to do them not in no particular order. I'm sorry, I'm going to do them in, in chronological order. So this is not necessarily, they're not necessarily ranked in order. These are just my favorite 10 episodes of the year, and I'm going to list them chronologically, starting way back at the start of the year in January with episode 197, Build a Website in a Weekend with Matthew Avercamp. Now, Matthew Avercamp runs a great website called launchparty.org where you can basically go and learn for free how to build a website in a weekend using WordPress and Elementor. And Matthew has some amazing design uh, templates and elements that you can download for free. And he shows you how to use them and shows you how to build a website in a weekend without writing any code, just by using the design elements and the templates that he gives you. Um, and you'll end up with a beautiful looking website. And in the interest of complete transparency, Matthew makes his money out of being an affiliate for the products that he recommends, which is mainly Elementor, and uh, which is a free plugin, but there's also a pro version uh, that he recommends. And I think he also makes some money out of SiteGround hosting. So that's how he makes his money, which means he can give you a whole bunch of free resources. So if you have ever thought about you know, building websites for clients and starting a business or, you know, continuing to grow a business, but you are not sure about your skills in actually building websites, definitely go and check out launchparty.org. Have a listen to episode 197 and take up his challenge to build a website in a weekend with Matthew Avercamp. Uh, the next episode is episode number 200. My good friend, Miles Beckler spoke a lot about digital marketing and being authentic in digital marketing. He's got a fantastic story. Uh, he was trying to flip houses when the uh, real estate boom, you know, kind of bust in the States and he was basically unemployed, met his girlfriend who was putting together angel meditation. So she was recording angel meditations as MP3s and trying to sell them online. He started doing SEO on her website and just blew it up. They now have a very, very successful business. They're now married. Um, Miles came out to our event in February uh, in Santa Monica. No, he didn't. He came out in June in Santa Monica and spoke at our uh, Agency Accelerator event, which was amazing. He's just such a fantastic marketing brain and a really authentic guy. He's got a great YouTube channel. I've learned a lot about running Facebook ads from watching Miles's videos on YouTube. So that is episode number 200, Miles Beckler, Digital Marketing and Authenticity. Definitely go and check that out. You'll learn a whole bunch of really cool stuff and follow Miles on YouTube. Episode number 205 is my next favorite, which is Kate Toon and how she productized her SEO business. Now, of course, Kate Toon, you'll know, uh, she has the Recipe for SEO Success course, which is her flagship SEO course. She releases, releases a couple of times a, a year. And she's just an awesome, uh, you know, awesome entrepreneur. She's got a great book called, um, uh, what is it called? Tales of the Misfit Entrepreneur or something along those lines. I can't remember. Sorry, Kate, she's going to kill me for not being able to remember the name of that book, but definitely look that up. Uh, she's based here in Sydney. She's extremely witty, very funny, great personality. Uh, definitely get around her and, and everything she's doing and check out episode 205 with Kate Toon. Uh, the next episode in my top 10 is episode 210. It is Brian Jackson from Kinsta. Now, these guys are a WordPress hosting company which as you know, is a very competitive space to be playing in. And they took the unique approach to just use content marketing to grow their business. But what they've done is they basically use, it's a bit meta, but they basically use content marketing to educate their customers about the importance of content marketing and blogging and SEO. They're, of course, using these own techniques to grow their own business, but sharing these techniques with their audience. And it's a perfect match because their audience are generally people like us who build websites for clients, and we need a hosting company, and we need to educate our clients about the importance of content. So these guys provide us a lot of information that's useful for our business, but also a lot of information that we can then pass on to our clients. And that has been their growth strategy. They have uh, absolutely grown an incredible company at Kinsta. Uh, it's spelled K-I-N-S-T-A uh, by just using content to, to grow their business. So that's episode 210, Brian Jackson, who is the CMO at Kinsta. 
Uh, the next episode of my top 10 is episode number 214 with my good friend James Shremko from Sydney, of course. He runs Super Fast Business. Go and check out what James is doing. He uh, makes videos quite regularly on Instagram stories and Facebook Lives. He's got a great podcast. And in this episode, episode 214, I didn't really brief James on what I wanted to talk about. I just kind of threw him a, f- a few curveballs. But what we ended up talking a lot about was managing a remote team and some of the mindset uh, about managing a remote team. In fact, I'm reading a book at the moment called Clockwork by Mike Michalowicz, which is a fantastic book. Of course, he's the, the author of Profit First, among other books. And one of the things that he talks about is when you first start, you first start working with a team, whether they're local or remote, one of the things that you do as an entrepreneur or a business owner is that you delegate tasks to that team member, but then you make decisions for them along the way. So I might say, hey, Max, I need a video. I need a, 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 a trailer video to promote the podcast on social media. And Max will say, okay, no problem. I'll say, so here's a bunch of assets. Can you go and edit these five or six episodes of the podcast together and make it into a trailer? And he'll say, yep, no problem. And then he'll come back to me halfway through and he'll say, all right, well, what do we do here? What do we do at the start? And what do we do at the finish? And what's the call to action? And then I find myself making a bunch of decisions during the process. Now, this is bad for two reasons. One, it is disempowering for Max. And by the way, I'm just using Max as an example here because he happens to be in the booth and I know he has broad shoulders. Uh, so, <laughs> um, it's disempowering for Max because he's got to keep coming back to me to ask me questions and it's a time suck for me because I've got to keep making decisions. So the idea is to actually not delegate the task to Max but delegate the outcome to Max and be really clear with the brief up front and say, Max, what I want is a 15 second trailer that is high impact, really energetic, and it promotes the podcast on social media. And the call to action is to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. And here is the link for people to do that. And here is an example of one I've seen that I really like. Now that kind of brief, Max can pretty much go away and do the thing without having to come back to me and ask a bunch of questions. And I might also say, Make sure you use our branding style guide to keep it on brand. If you have any questions about that, ask Ben, our designer, because he's in charge of the branding guidelines, right? So now all of a sudden, Max has got all the information he needs to go away and do a great job and come back and say, here you go, mate, what do you think of this? Rather than coming back and, you know, asking me for a bunch of decisions during the process, which just delays it, delays the process and is is not a great um, process for anyone. So... Two things. First of all, read Clockwork by Mike Michalowicz. It's fantastic. And also get around episode number 214 with my friend James Shremko because he's got a great mindset for managing his team, but he's also also got some great tactical and practical tips in that episode, number 214. The next episode is, in fact, episode number 215, and it is all about sales funnels with Dave Foy. This, of course, was a great uh, podcast episode and came out of my trip to London in April when I went over to Lee Jackson's event at Agency Transformation. Gee, it's been a big year. It's, I've had three international trips this year and I have a two and a half year old and my wife is pregnant again and we're expecting another baby in April next year. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong cue, isn't it? That's better. That's better. Fantastic. Thank you very much for the applause. I appreciate it. Uh, It has been a big year. Anyway, while I was in London in April, I shot the High Ticket Sales Funnels course with Dave Foy, and then we jumped on a podcast and I unpacked his brain uh, about, uh, you know, sales funnels and why they're important and how to do them correctly. Uh, So that is episode number 215. If you've ever thought about setting up a sales funnel for your own business to attract high quality, high qualified leads into your business on autopilot, I know that sounds hypey, but it's absolutely true. Go and check out episode 215, Sales Funnels with Dave Foy. And of course, get around the High Ticket Sales Funnels course. Episode 223 is my next favorite. It is the story of Amber Hines, who is a longtime member of WP Elevation. And when I first met Amber, I was on a Skype call with her and her husband, uh, Chris, late one night for them, early one morning for me because of the time zone differences. They're based in Colorado. And we had a conversation and they were talking about wanting to build more recurring revenue in their business, predominantly through care plans and retainers. So I gave them some advice and I asked them, what's the end game here for you guys? What is it that you want to achieve over the next five years? And Amber's mission was to allow Chris to quit his job. He was working at a restaurant. Uh, Her mission was to allow Chris to quit his job and to take the kids out of school for three months a year over summer and travel around the country in their RV. For those of us here in Australia might not know what an RV is. It's a recreational vehicle. We might also call it a motorhome or, you know, 
a great big caravan truck kind of thing. They were renovating an RV in their front yard. They wanted to take the kids out of school for three months a year and travel around the country. Fast forward a couple of years, Amber, her husband, Chris, who has now quit the job in the restaurant, running the business, it's called Road Warrior Creative, running the business from their laptops in their RV. They now have four kids. When I met them, they had two. I actually met them in real life too at WordCamp US at the end of 2016, and it was a great moment. They came up to me after my talk and uh, we had a bit of a chat and it was good to meet them in, in real life. Uh, at that stage, they had two kids and a third on the way. They now have four kids. And in 2018, they spent 11 months of the year driving around the country in their RV, running their business from their laptops with their team, their remote team, helping them deliver great value to their customers. Amber's mission is to visit every state capital of the United States, which is 50. If you know your geography, you'll know there are 50 states in the US. Her mission is to visit every state capital in the US with her family and have a photo taken at every state capital and then have those photos put together into a coffee table uh, photo book as a way of showing her family the country that they live in. And their mission is to drive the RV to every one of those state capitals except Hawaii, of course, they'll need to fly to that one, but they're also you know, they're gonna drive their RV up to Alaska as well, apparently. So uh, they're on a mission, they're doing it. I don't know how many they've done so far, but uh, definitely check out episode number 223, Amber Hines. We actually did that episode and she was in the RV while we were recording that episode. Uh, so a super interesting story and I'm very humbled to have played some small part in their journey uh, and what they wanna achieve with their family. All right, my next episode is episode number 228 with my good friend Dana Moldstaff uh, from bossmom.com. Dana's got an incredible community of mumpreneurs who have got a side hustle. She's got a Facebook group with over 45,000 members and she's grown that organically, by the way, has not spent a dollar of advertising to grow that Facebook group. Uh, and when I was out in Santa Monica in June, Max and I hung around for a couple of extra days and hired a studio and we shot the Content Strategy Blueprint course with Dana, which has been epic. We've got some amazing success stories out of that course already, which I'll tell you about in a moment. But episode 228 is me basically unpacking Dana's brain about Content Strategy Blueprint and how, I mean, if you wanna grow your business and you don't wanna spend money on ads, this is the way to do it, ladies and gentlemen. So have a listen to episode 228, Dan Amol staff, and check out the Content Strategy Blueprint course. Uh, Jason Resnick, my good friend Rez from New York, re-triple-z.com, he recently sold a content strategy uh, as a service to a client who has signed on for a monthly retainer. Um, I'm not gonna tell you how much it is, but let me tell you it is somewhere between three and $5,000 a month as a retainer. Uh, for Jason to implement content strategy for this new client who was an incoming lead into his business. And he basically sold that as he was studying the content strategy blueprint course because he knew that he would have the blueprint to deliver a great content strategy for that client. So he sold it and now he's building it out as a productized offering because the man is a legend. He took the course, took massive action and it's had a huge impact on his business. Uh, so, episode 228, Dana Molstaff, and of course, the Content Strategy Blueprint course. Um, my next episode is Kim Barrett, episode 236. Kim is from Your Social Voice in Western Australia, and he's a fantastic entrepreneur. He's just a really freaking awesome dude, Kim. I, I, it's been an absolute pleasure. Kim is one of our Mavericks members, full transparency. He is one of our Mavericks Club mastermind members. He's into his second year in uh, Mavericks Club now. And he's just, I've just had such a great time hanging out with Kim. He's such a genuine, down to earth, really authentic um, individual and super smart and a great teacher. Uh, you know, he, he's got a, a great relationship with Facebook. He's running an event in February that Facebook are sponsoring. He spends a lot of money on Facebook ads. He manages a lot of ad spend for his clients. Uh, he's run ads for Gary Vaynerchuk. He's interviewed um, Grant Cardone on his podcast. He's a, he's a, a real mover and a shaker at the ripe old age of, I think he's about 31 or 32 now, and he's just kicking goals left, right, and center. And it was, a, it was great to get to know a little bit about his entrepreneurial journey. And of course, that was a nice segue. We shot that episode of the podcast in our new studio. It was the first episode uh, to be shot in our new studio. And we did that while he was here shooting the Facebook Ads Accelerator course, which of course is on sale right now. If you go to wpelevation.com slash courses, you'll find out all about it. 
and it's on pre-sale now right now. So if you're interested in getting into the Facebook ads world, I would strongly suggest you get that course while it's on pre-sale because there are some amazing bonuses that we're giving away during pre-sale that you won't be able to get any other time, including Kim's Many Chat Masterclass. He's got a Many Chat Masterclass to help you generate organic leads and customers using many chat bots and we're giving that masterclass away as a bonus while that facebook ads accelerator course is on pre-sale uh until i think wednesday so you've probably when, when you're listening to this you've probably only got a couple of days or maybe even only 24 hours to get that course so get on over to wpelevation.com courses and check it out and my final uh, of my top 10 episodes of the podcast for 2019 is episode number 240, my conversation with Annie Wright, who is a licensed psychotherapist and coach from the Bay Area in Northern California, uh, up around Berkeley. And we spoke about, I was doing some research for a presentation I did in Sydney a couple of months ago called The Blueprint for Growth. And my good friend Dale Beaumont runs a an accelerator or a, a business coaching program in Sydney called Business Blueprint. And I went up there and I, I did a presentation called Blueprint for Growth. And one of the things I encouraged everyone to do in that presentation was to talk to themselves. That's right, actually out loud to externalize their thoughts and to make sure that they were externalizing their positive self-talk. And as part of my research of putting that presentation together, I came across this excellent blog post by Annie Wright called Why uh, It's Called Talking to Yourself Matters Because Neuroplasticity, and which piqued my interest. Neuroplasticity is a conversation and a topic that I've been exploring over the last few years, and my wife and I talk about it. Of course, my wife is a psychologist, so she's very interested in this kind of stuff. And I love the fact that this whole concept that you can actually change the wiring in your brain just by the messages that you send yourself. And so I pinged Annie on Facebook and I said, hey, great article, love this blog post. By the way, I'm using it as a reference in my art, in my presentation. I'm gonna give you kudos for it. And I'd love to have you on the podcast. And she said, yes, I'd love to be on your podcast. So she came on the podcast. We spoke about the importance. She's also an entrepreneur. She's got a clinic with five or six staff working for her. And we spoke about the importance of positive self-talk and how it can actually change the wiring in your brain and form new neural pathways. It's a fabulous episode, episode 240, Annie Wright. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the top 10 episodes of the WP Elevation podcast for 2019. Oh, that's the wrong sound effect again. There we go. Thank you very much. Uh, now, and a, a little quick segue uh, before we wrap up here. We have some very, very, very big, 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 exciting, exciting, exciting plans for the year 2020, none of which I can tell you, of course, because we're still figuring them out. However, I can tell you that we're working through a strategic planning exercise here. I know it sounds very boring, but we're working through a strategic planning exercise here in the business. Next week, the entire team are having a full day uh, on hands meeting here in Melbourne, um, our Australian team. Uh, and we'll be, we're getting feedback from all of our other remote team uh, members to work out the direction for the company for 2020, the products that we're going to be offering, uh, our marketing strategies, our financial strategies, and we're very keen to be rolling that out for you guys next year. And we'd love to hear what you guys want more of. So probably the easiest way to do that is to get into the Digital Mavericks Facebook group. If you're not already in that Facebook group, you're an idiot and you're missing out big time. Sorry, I'll, I'll say that again. If you're not already in the Digital Mavericks Facebook group, then you are missing out big time and you should uh, definitely get into that Facebook group because it is excellent. There's over 5,500 people in there. They're, we're all either in the business of, of growing an online business or trying to grow our business online through digital marketing. Um, a lot of people in there are, of course, offering digital marketing services to clients. Uh, there's a lot of talk in there about SEO and about web design and content and funnels and all sorts of cool stuff and hiring team members and all that stuff. So get into the Digital Mavericks Facebook group. Just go to facebook.com and search for Digital Mavericks and you'll find the group there. As I said, there's about five and a half thousand members. So join that group and let us know what you wanna see or hear more of next year in terms of video content, how-to training videos, tutorials, courses, podcast episodes, plugins. Uh, I'm pretty confident we're gonna be getting into the plugin business next year. So what software would you like us to be making? What do you want to see more of? The three questions I like to ask our team all the time is, what should we stop doing? What should we keep doing? 
and what should we start doing? So maybe you could get into the Digital Mavericks Facebook group. I know you're not going to do this, so I'm just going to ask you again. Whatever you're doing right now, whatever you're listening to this podcast right now, just stop, right? Open Facebook on your phone. Don't tell me you don't have Facebook on your phone because I know you do. It's really easy. You don't even need a computer. Just go to your Facebook on your phone, Facebook app on your phone right now. Join the Digital Mavericks Facebook group. You'll get approval pretty much straight away because we have people in multiple time zones around the country, around the world monitoring this stuff. So we'll approve you. When you get in there, say hi and say, hey, Troy asked me to come in here and let you all know what uh, we should stop doing, what sh- we should keep doing and what we should start doing uh, so that we can tailor our content uh, more in line with what you guys actually want. So we're also coming out to, so thank you for indulging me there. We're also coming out to San Diego in February for our Mavericks Club Mastermind event. If you want more information about that, please just go to themaverick'sclub.com or send an email to support at wpelevation.com with the subject line Maverick in the uh, subject line and we'll get back to you with details on the Mavericks Club Mastermind. And of course, my wife and I are having another baby in April uh, 2020, so I'll be off the grid for a few weeks while uh, that happens and while we introduce Oscar to his new baby brother or baby sister. We don't know what we're having and we're not going to find out, which apparently puts us in the minority. Talking to some midwives recently and they're like, wow, we can't believe you're not finding out and having a big... um, gender reveal party because that's what everyone does these days but my wife and I are a bit old school and we like the surprise on the day so I'll keep you posted about what happens there all right hey it's been fabulous bringing this podcast to you this year I've had a lot of fun I want to thank you all for your support and your feedback Uh, again if you've got any comments feedback or questions about this or anything else that we're doing get into the Digital Mavericks Facebook group and let us know so that we can uh, better serve you in 2020 I hope you all have an amazing Christmas break, or if you don't celebrate Christmas, then I hope at least you all have some time off over the late December, early January, New Year period to spend some time with your family. Reflect on what you've achieved this year. Give yourself a pat on the back for what you've achieved and get super clear about what you want your life and your business to look like in 2020 and then start putting micro steps in place uh, to just keep you moving in the right direction every day. Uh, and hopefully we can all get there and have a great 2020 and achieve what we want to achieve. I look forward to seeing you again in some way, shape or form next year uh, on video and on the podcast and on the blog and on Facebook Lives and on YouTube. I look forward to seeing you then. Until then, I'm Troy Dean. Stay curious and make some noise.